Today is January 25th, 2024, and in today's episode, I'm going to talk about the key platforms that we'll be using throughout the spring 2024 semester. Hello and welcome to ELT Cast, an educational podcast making English language teaching and learning more transparent. My name is Benjamin Stewart at BenjaminLStewart.net. Before we get into today's topic, if you have any thoughts or experiences that you would like to share, feel free to reach out to me at my X channel at BNLEEZ. So today I want to go over some of the platforms that we're going to be using, really two key platforms and uh, one of which should be very familiar with you and that is Microsoft Teams. So let me pull up my screen here and I'm going to try my best to show you what it looks like on a desktop computer as well as a cell phone. So first let's see what it looks like on a desktop and um, I want to talk about some aspects of Microsoft Teams that you've probably used in the past and maybe some that you haven't. So on the left-hand side, you have the uh, chat, and that's always going to be the best option if you need to reach out to me, if you need to send me a message, if you have a question about your grades, anything private in nature, if you want to send it to me via chat, you're more likely to get a quicker response than sending it to my email. Also on the left-hand side of your screen in Microsoft Teams is the Assignments tab, and we'll talk about that a little bit more here in a few minutes. Calendar, which might be useful, and also you can access your OneDrive if you need to. So you'll notice here that we have our main channels now towards the bottom in this second column here, and uh, this should be familiar where we have an area for the posts, files, and in our case, website. So in the post here, I encourage everyone to post any kind of questions that you have where you think maybe a class might, classmate might also have a similar question. It's always best to post there so that um, others can benefit. So again, feel free to post questions that you have about the, the class, about what we're doing here in this section here, as long as it's not private, I would recommend that you use the chat if you have uh, anything that you have questions about, for example, grades. Under files, depending on the class that you have, uh, we'll be sharing some files and we'll have folders probably to organize some of the files that we'll be using. So this should also be somewhat familiar if you've had me in the class before. And also we now have the website. Now the website we'll talk about here in a second. This is going to be the second platform that we'll be using. But everything that we do in class is going to be in Microsoft Teams. So really your go-to space should be here in the platform. Now you'll notice above the main channels this area, and this is what we're going to be using, and I want to talk about each one of these, which of these we'll be using and which uh, we'll probably won't be using that that much. This home page is really just a collection of all of the information, the artifacts that we're going to be including, uh, the files, and so, yeah, you, this is going to be a personal choice whether or not you want to access any of the course content here in the home page. We for the most part, will not be using the class notebook. Of course, if you want to use it for your own purpose, uh, feel free to do so. But I probably will not be including any course content in the class notebook. We have the coursework or the classwork, the classwork and the assignments. Now, the classwork I will we will be using, and it typically will be divided up into units or sections throughout the semester. So if you click the drop down arrow, uh, a view of all of the activities and assignments that we'll be working on throughout the semester. So it's a good idea to access this space to see, to find which 
uh, what the assignments are, for example, anytime you see this icon, this indicates that we uh, that it's an, a graded assignment. So if I, we'll jump to assignments here, and these assignments that are listed in this space are the same assignments that are listed here in the classwork modules. Okay, I, these are our learning modules, and uh, the assignments can be accessed here or, of course, in the assignments. You can access your grades throughout the semester also in this tab. And it's very important to get in the habit of each week going over your grades, going over the assignments. And, of course, if anything's missing or if you have questions, try to get with me that same week uh, so we can clarify anything that we need to, to clarify. Now, this part here where it says, this section where it says reflect and insights, we will not be using these, these options. Okay, so primarily classwork, assignments, and grades. And then, of course, the main channel, post files, and the website. Depending on the class, depending on the activities, there may be more channels, uh, but we'll certainly be talking about that in class if, if we need to deal with or have more channels. Okay, so we're going to be using Microsoft Teams as a learning management system, an LMS, which basically means your grades are going to be in this space. Instead of using the virtual classroom, we're going to be using Microsoft Teams to manage all the activities and all of, the, all of your grades throughout the semester. Now, if you're curious, most of you are going to be accessing Microsoft Teams on your cell phone. So this is what your cell phone is going to be looking like. And if we can, we can go into the same class, in this case, thesis seminar. And, you know, it's going to look something like this, accessing classwork. You'll notice that, uh, that this is what it looks like. So it's basically the same. You can access your assignments. And, of course, your grades. Okay, so everything that we've been looking at here on the PC, of course, you can access the same information on your cell phone. General tab, very similar to what we have probably have done in the past. So you're more than likely familiar with these options in Microsoft Teams already. Okay, so Microsoft Teams is going to be one of our key platforms for this semester. Now I'm going to go back to class work and I'm going to open up one of these modules and you'll notice here week one lesson. Okay, this is going to take you to a page something like something like this. In fact, I'll go to that page right now. It should look like this. Okay, so I'll, I'll check that here a little bit later. But what I want to describe here basically is this is what a lot of the information that I have linked from Microsoft Teams will, will look like. And if you're accessing this page on a PC, you'll notice that the page is divided into three columns. On the left-hand column, you have at the very top a link that takes you back to the home page. So anytime you click up in this area, this will take you back to the home page if you ever need to get to the home page. Here you have an option to toggle back and forth between a dark mode and light mode. You have an option here to search any of the pages throughout this website. And of course, you have a list here of all the different pages. If you want to search something alphabetically, you can do that here. Now, in the middle column, you'll notice this is mainly where the content of this page will reside, in the middle column. And usually, it's div divided into headings and subheadings. And you'll notice a lot of links. Okay, Most of the pages are going to have internal links or external links. Links that more than likely will either take you to a page outside of this website, which is this indicator here, this arrow. If there is no arrow, arrow then you know that this link is an internal link and it takes you to another page within the same website. All right, so here I can easily click a link and take, take you somewhere else within this website. If you scroll all the way towards the bottom, each of the pages has a links to this page section. And this simply means other pages within this website that link to the website that you're currently on. So in this case, Thesis Seminar has a link 
to this page here. All right, so there are many different ways so far that we've seen where you can navigate around the website to find what you're looking for. The last thing I'll mention here in the column, the third column, the column to the, towards the right, you'll notice we have a graph view. And by default, you'll notice that this graph, is, this is called a local graph. You can make this larger if you need to. You can zoom in and out and scroll left to right, up and down. And again, it's just another way of finding related pages to this page. If you want to see a global graph, this is the entire graph of the, total, and the entire website, of course you can. Uh, this may be less useful, really, unless you become familiar with the different pages on this uh, site, but just know that it does exist. So really, you have two different ways of using this graph to, again, find related pages, okay? Besides the internal links, the external links, the search feature, the list, alphabetical list by the name of the page, uh, this should all help you to navigate and find whatever you're looking for. Now, the last thing I'll mention here, and let's go back to the thesis page, thesis seminar. This is the, the main page for this course. Notice on the right-hand side, on the, uh, the right-hand column, just below where it says on this page, we have a table of contents. Depending on the headings and subheadings that are being used for this page, you can also jump around without having to scroll up and down. You can easily navigate up and down the same page, finding whatever it is that you need to find. All right, so this is what it looks like here on, uh, on uh, the website. And I just noticed that I had the my cell phone view here on, so I was blocking. This is again what the left-hand column looked like. Sorry about that. So again, this is the where you can access the home page. Here's the toggle between black and white, then the search box, and then all of the list of pages for the website. Okay, so let's bring back the cell phone view. And before I do that, let me pull up the website. So there it is. All right, so this is what it looks like, same website on a cell phone. You'll notice if you click this hamburger menu at the top left-hand corner of your screen, you'll have options for the dark mode, light mode, search box, and the list of pages. You can click it again to collapse it. And then you have the main content which is essentially the, the middle column that we looked at here on the PC view. And if you scroll all the way down, you also have access to, although I don't see it now, which is interesting. You should have an option also if you scroll all the way down to the page to see the links to this page. But for some reason, I don't see it. So let me go to another page. And yeah, there it is. So yeah, you can scroll all the way down and also access links to this page, which again are other pages within this website that point or have links, internal links to the page that you're on. Now, the only limitation to accessing this website using your cell phone is that you don't have access to the interactive graph and the table of contents, that right-hand column. This is not an option uh, in uh, when you're viewing the, the cell phone. So just keep that in mind. If there's something really that you, know, that you find... Uh, if you're really looking for information on this website, it might be worth getting to a PC to uh, have this option of using the graph or using the uh, table of contents. But uh, basically, these are the two different views that you're likely to encounter accessing this website. Now, most of the information that I include in Microsoft Teams is going to be linked to some page here in this website. If you choose not to use this or navigate around this page, that's perfectly fine. Everything that I, th pretty much everything that I think is the most important, re relevant to what we're doing in class, you'll be able to access through Microsoft Teams. Okay, again, going to classwork, and I'll have everything organized here 
included usually in the order, chronological order. And uh, again, this is going to be your go-to space for finding out what we're doing on any particular day or any particular uh, week. And um, most of the way that I organize course content is not only in units, but usually by, by week. All right, so we talked about Microsoft Teams. We talked about the website that we're going to be using this uh, spring 2024 semester. And that's basically what I wanted to, to uh, cover for today, is just to give you a broad overview of the two main platforms that we're going to be using. We're not going to be using uh, the virtual classroom. Most of what we do will be in Microsoft Teams. And of course, I encourage you to use this, uh, the website, as you need to to find anything else that you need to. Uh, this website is a continual work in process. It's a ongoing effort to continue to add content and improve it and make changes to it. So know that this, this is an ongoing uh, space of sharing information that I think is relevant to students that I have uh, in, in my classes. So make sure that you're uh, letting me know if uh, any of the content that you're accessing here in the website is either not clear, that's missing, and maybe there's something that you would like to see that's something that's that's really not clear. Typically what I do when I come up with different ideas or topics based on what what we're doing in class, I'll always be thinking about how to add information to this website and uh, make it just a little bit uh, clearer for you. So... I think we'll stop there for today. And uh, again, if you have any thoughts or if you any uh, educators out there have any experiences sharing their information or content online uh, with their students, I'm always interested in knowing how others uh, are managing their workflow. This is ELTCast, an educational podcast making English language, teaching and learning more transparent. Thanks for listening.